Hello and welcome to the Pro Yaki Report, Volume 1, Episode 52, Hideaki Wakui. I'm Michael Westbay, your host. The Chibalote Marines recently signed free agent Hideaki Wakui from the Saitama Seibu Lions. Once the darling of the Lions starting rotation and winner of the 2009 Sawamoto Award, Wakui was moved to the closing role in 2012 following a slightly injury-troubled 2011 season. Looking at his ERA, one would think that 2013 was tied for his worst season so far in his career, after, of course, his rookie year of 2005. But taking fielding independent pitching into account for 2013, it was actually his best season since that Sawamura award-winning year of 2009. And considering that this season, Wakui bounced back and forth between starting, relief, and closing, he really didn't have a steady role throughout the season. So, what will be his role with Chiba next season? On the thread announcing the signing of Wakui over at yakubaka.com, Ultimate Lote fan Steve Novosel defended Wakui as a starter as he shut out the Marines at the beginning of the season. In actuality, though, I believe he's referring to Wakui's complete 4-1 win over Lote in Chiba on April 11th. Uh, The one run came in the bottom of the second inning when Wakui actually gave up four consecutive hits. Otherwise, he pitched pretty good that game. Nonetheless, with the exception of 2010 and 2012, Wakui has actually performed well in his home prefecture of Chiba. And considering that Wakui performed almost a run better per nine innings in Chiba than he did against the rest of the league, I can certainly see why Steve might perceive Wakui as being an excellent pitcher, much more so than the other commenters on that thread. Well, if we turn back the clock to his Sawamura year of 2009, you can see that Wakui allowed just three runs over four starts for a 0.87 ERA in Chiba for 2009. In 2010, Wakui got a bit roughed up in Chiba on April 9, allowing six runs, all of them earned, in three innings for the loss. He gave up another four earned runs on July 2nd's 1-7 loss, but he bounced back a couple weeks later and shut out the Marines 2-0 for a 4.74 ERA in Chiba for 2010. The stadium was renamed to QVC Stadium in 2011, and Wakui was hit for a 2-0 loss in seven innings on April 19 for a 2.57 ERA, that being his only game in 2011 in Chiba. Changing to the role of closer in 2012, and despite holding Lote scoreless through the first two outings against Lote in May in Saitama, Wakui allowed three runs to Chiba in just two-thirds of an inning on June 26, 2012. He allowed another run on August 7, but with too large of a lead to get the save. The next day, August 8, Wakui held Lote scoreless, in the 10th in what ended up being called a 2-2 tie after 11 innings. Then he got a save in a 3-2 victory over Lote on September 14th. On to 2013, and we have a mixture of starts and relief appearances. As mentioned before, Wakui beat the Marines 4-1 on April 11. August 20 and 21 were interesting for Wakui and Chiba in that he started the game on the 20th, allowed three runs, two of them earned, over just one and one-third innings. He then came in in the eighth inning the next day 
with the Lions down by a whopping 18 to 1. And Wakui, that game, managed to shut down the top of the Marines lineup in order for no decision. Toward the end of the season, Wakui threw to the minimum of three batters in the Lions' 3 4 loss in Chiba on September 9th. Then he threw to one over the minimum for the save in the Lions' 4 2 victory on October 1st. In fact, from September 23rd to October 6th, Wakui did not allow a single earned run and he racked up six consecutive saves in a row along the way. Okay now, considering how well Wakui threw toward the end of the season, including those six consecutive saves and so many games without allowing an earned run, one would think that the press would be kind of high on Wakui and his potential move to Lotte. But they don't seem to be. In fact, they seem to be quite negative about Wakui's performance on the season overall. Why is that? Well, there was one postseason game that I think may have been a strong influence. After two blowouts in the first stage of the Pacific League Climax Series, Cebu was down by one run in the eighth inning on October 14th against Lotte. With a runner at third and one out, Wakui replaced Safarte. And he failed to get an out. After walking Imae, Wakui gave up a triple to the right center field gap to Kakunaka, plating two. He then walked Sabado on four straight pitches before being yanked in favor of Randy Williams. Randy Williams was incredible that game. He then struck out the next five batters swinging to keep the Lions in the game. However, those two runs proved to be too much for Cebu, and Lotte ended up moving on to the second stage of the playoffs. Yeah, so that kind of failure in a high-pressure situation at the end of the season might leave a bit of a sour taste in the mouth. So that may be what is driving some of those uh, commenters over at Yakubaka to consider this to be a really bad deal for Lotte. But I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a good thing for Lotte, and I expect Wakui to perform well in Chiba in 2014. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaku Report. Thank you for joining me, and until next week, take care. <laughs>